Hey guys, Brandon Productions here, and in this tutorial I'd like to showcase my new update of my update library, Update VB. That was a lot of updates. Anyway, uh, in my later, or my uh, older tutorials, I created a tutorial on how to make an updater for your program using the Update VB library. And uh, as you know, that required some uh, knowledge of VB.net and some lines of coding. However, I recently updated Update VB to 2.0 which makes it completely uh, or much easier to implement into your program. So what I'm going to do now is just go over how to do that. So once you go to the Update VB's website at updatevb.coplex.com and then click on Downloads, you have two choices, 2.0 and 1.3. Now 1.3 is the version that is just a library. That's uh, helpful if you want to create like a, uh, a different user interface for your updater than provided with Update VB 2.0. However, update, update VB 2.0 is just as good. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and download that. I already have, so um, let's go ahead and dive right into building a program with it. So I've created a new application called Updater Test Update VB, and um, this is going to be a sample application that just checks for an update and downloads it if there's one available. So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually put the Update VB uh, component into our program. And if you don't know what a component is, everything inside this toolbox here is called a component. So um, all these are components. Uh, button is a component. And all that. They're also known as controls, but for this purpose, for this tutorial, we're going to make a, them called components. Now what we want to do is actually uh, right click in this blank space and press add tab. And then we're going to type update VB as the title of the tab. And then we're going to want to right click and then uh, choose items. And then what we're going to do is actually press the browse button down here and find our update vb.dll. Mine is in my downloads folder because I just recently downloaded it. So there it is. So then all you're going to want to do is make sure that it's checked and uh, oh I've got two here. Uh, I don't know I'll just press OK. So make sure it's checked and then just press OK. And um, once you've done that, one update VB will be uh, visible in your update VB tab in your toolbox. So all you need to do is drag and drop this into your form, just like a button or other controls. Now, as you'll notice, this form is a blank box, but that's because a uh, a button and progress bar will take the place of it if an update is available. So what you want to do is leave it the same size it is, or resize it if you really need to, but that might cause problems. And then you are going to um, to actually just, just leave it there. So now that you've added that to your form, we're going to go ahead and dive right into the coding. So all you're going to want to do is double click on your form so you get to the sub form one load. And then once you're there, you're going to need to type one line, and that's it. So you're just going to want to type update vb one dot check for update. And then you're going to want to open the parentheses because there are three parameters in which you need to fill. So the first one is update text file URL a string. Now I've already created one of these and it is located right here in my public Dropbox. And it's called version.txt and it has the latest version inside of it. So I'm just going to right click on this and copy its public link. And then put it right here. Next up it asks for the current version. Let's say the current version is 0.9. And then the updater executable, uh, we're going to, I already have this too, I'm going to use my sample program called Password Cracker, uh, which was made for people that could crack, not a very good program, anyway. But this we'll just say is the update. And then that's it, we are finished. Now um, what I'm actually going to do is run the executable from the directory instead of from the debug so we can actually see what's going on when we run the program. So I'm just going to build the debug real fast so we get that and then uh, I'm going to go to where it's saved. And here it is. We have the executable right here. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, double click that. And as you'll notice it uh, downloaded the version file that we specified earlier and it shows us that a new update is available. 
with this nice flashy button with a nice icon. Look at that. It's nice, right? So we're going to click here to download it now. Once we've done that, it should download relatively fast. Progress bar will fill. And then we'll try to run the update. And as you notice, there's another bug. Okay, but it will run the update. And uh, in this case, it runs it millions of times. But you know what? I'm going to fix that by the time this video is put up. And it will be listed as update VB 2.1 on the website. So uh, when you're downloading update VB, make sure you download update VB 2.1. Otherwise, you'll get this crazy craziness right here. Alright, so thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you uh, find this update VB 2.0 component, soon to be 2.1, very useful. So go ahead and you can use it in your projects. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day.